This is the folded corners block and it finishes at 12 inches. We're going to use the method of half square triangles two at a time and the no waste flying geese four at a time. If you're not familiar with these methods, you can scan this little code with your phone. It will take you to my YouTube video uh, tutorial. And if you have this on your desktop, you can just click on this link and it will take you to the video as well. Here is the diagram of the quilt and it's marked with the, the letters. Up here we have the AccuQuilt dies you can use. If you have your 8 inch mix and match cube, you're going to use five different shapes from there. And then here are the cutting instructions for the cutting, the rotary cutting, and then just a little bit of assembly information down here. Now here are the pieces all cut. If we start from the center of the block, we have the dark fabric in the center, and framing the dark fabric are the, the yellow, and then these are the squares for the half square triangles two at a time and they're already marked with the diagonal and then these are the background and this is the geese and these are actually the sky so we have a dark sky on our flying geese and these are marked as well. Now let's go piece the flying geese and the half square triangles. Here we have the half square triangles are, are, are pieced and they're trimmed down to four and a half inches and I used the folded corner clipper ruler to to trim those down before I press them. And here are three of the flying geese. I wanted to show you a little tool I made. This, I know you've probably seen them. These are, they help you to press your seams open. And what this is, it's a quarter round piece of molding from the, it's wooden from the hardware store. And it's just covered with some scraps of batting. And I just used my Elmer's glue stick to to glue it all down so it stayed in place. And what you do with this is you just lay your seam on top of it and it helps to open it up a little bit and then you just press with your iron right on top of it. So that's a little trick and it's really helped me especially with these small ones to press the seams open. Now let's continue to piece the block. Mm -hmm. 